Seven times Mr. Beast was almost killed. Have you recorded a video that's to be released once you die? Well, people around the world are trying to hurt Mr. Beast from having a billionaire stalker from Dubai who wanted to find- That's kind of a distasteful question. Oh, bro, we see you're dropping these bangers, but what's going to happen when you get packed up? What, what, what happens when you have zero HP and you're six feet underneath? Why would you even plant that in his head? Like, because I know now Mr. Beast is thinking, imagine how that video would turn out. <laughs> what's good? If y'all seeing this, I'm currently dead right now. <laughs> like, how would that video go? And Jimmy to literally getting in a car accident because his driver died on a highway. Here's all seven times when Mr. B. Wait, 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 no, 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 hold up. That that is complete cap. What did he say? Because his driver died on a. So his driver died, and Mr. Beast's bright idea was taking picture, taking a picture with the nigga who died. I see. Uh, maybe this is just a random stock photo, which I think it is. But why would you put this? I don't think Mr. Beast go take a pic content. This is a thumbnail. Hey, bro, you might have died. You might have got packed up. Zero HP. All right, you might meet Tupac right now. But uh, let me just get this quick picture. I was in a crazy car accident. And my nigga just died like highway here's all seven times when mr beast was almost killed and first up is one of the wildest things that mr beast has ever experienced because black people my, yo my bet yo yo stop over 2,000 people were staying outside of Jimmy's hotel, and he had to hire a lot of security and even put the hotel into an emergency mode just to simply leave this dangerous town. And Jimmy okay. said he was scared to death. I can't be in large crowds. I just can't. I can't go watch a movie with my girlfriend. It all started when Damn. Mr. Beast was preparing for his Antarctica video. And since you mm -hmm. cannot fly... See, that's why I think, like, honestly, if I was to ever be that famous, I'd probably hate it. Because what do you mean I'm trying to go on a target run and I'm getting a flash mob on me? Nigga, all I wanted was some Cheetos. I just wanted some soda. And you're telling me I, I gotta worry about 30 niggas about to clap me? Pause. Pause. Hey, yo. Fly directly from America to Antarctica, Jimmy had to stay in a small town in Chile and spend a couple of nights in the hotel. But okay. before he got inside of the hotel room, some guy recognized Jimmy in the airport and asked for a photo. And since Mr. Beast is one of the kindest people on earth, he said yes and took a photo with this little kid. And I was all right. in, in the airport, I was wearing my hoodie, sunglasses, just staring at the floor. I was like, if I don't take any photos, I'll just go straight to the hotel room. No one will know I'm here. Just a couple hours later, Mr. Beast is going to regret that picture for the rest of his life. What happened? the fan who took a photo with Jimmy posted this picture on Instagram. And here the actual nightmare begins. What and happened? now there's like 200 people outside this hotel running up and down the hallway. Okay, that's what it was. They had me thinking that this little nigga was a murderer, bruh. I was like, is this kid connected? Is he the son of a cartel member? Like... Okay, all it was was that, that was the simple fact that he posted it. Okay, I, I thought I thought he was affiliated or something. Always like knocking on doors trying to figure out which rooms me and Carl and some stalkers found out that Mr. Breast was in town and leaked the complete information about the hotel Jimmy was staying at. Just a few hours later, over 200 people were staying outside of the hotel. For you know, and you know what's also bad about being Mr. Beast level of famous, because people think that oh, if I meet Mr. Beast. He might ask me like oh, if I want a hundred thousand dollars or a mystery briefcase. You get what I'm trying to say? So it's like it's not like meeting another celebrity. Another celebrity, all you gonna get is a picture. Mr. Beast, he's gonna give you a million dollars. So he kind of set himself up with that one. Forcing Mr. Beast to come outside. Some of the fans even got inside of the hotel and started knocking to every door trying to find Jimmy. After all the fans got kicked out of the hotel, they started camping outside. The thing was so bad that nobody could enter or even leave from this hotel because of how many people were outside. Mr. Beast asked the hotel managers to turn the building into an emergency mode and he even spent over $30,000 on security in Chile. Some people outside were literally camping for a couple of days and Mr. Beast had to delay the flight to Antarctica because of it. After that, that got to suck though, bruh. Thirty thousand on security. I don't even got thirty thousand dollars, bruh. What you mean, bruh? Oh hell no. That means he uh, shit. He needed uh, damn near the whole army to to get them niggas out of there. Story, Mr. Beast is never taking photos with his fans while traveling. The next one is actually 10 times scarier because Mr. Beast was supposed to be in the Titanic submarine that went underwater and Jimmy barely escaped death this time. Last year, a couple of billionaires paid some huge money just to visit Titanic in a small submarine. And as we know- I'm not going to lie, bro. How you- I'm sorry. If, if, if I'm spending a quarter million to go on this thing that looks like half a penis, like, does this not look like a, someone's meat that got chopped off? Like, this was probably one of the most basic submarines that you could ever pay for, and it's expensive. And I heard that, what, they used a PlayStation controller to control it? Dog, we going underwater. 
And you want to control it with a PlayStation controller? Hell no, red flag! No, they died just a couple hours after getting underwater. But not so many people know that Mr. Beast was actually supposed to be there. On June 25th, just a few days after the Titanic submarine sank, and all of the four billionaires who were inside simply died, Mr. Beast posted a tweet saying, I was invited earlier this month to ride the Titanic submarine, and I said no. Kind and bro, he's smart for doing that, because guess what? That would be an interesting concept video, would it not? I went underwater to see the Titanic remains. That would have been a banger video. So for him to say no, he really dodged the bullet. It's scary that I could have been on it. This post has over 100 million views right now. And it basically means that Mr. Beast would be dead nowadays if he said yes to the anonymous guy inviting him. I personally don't think Jimmy would be sharing dead people DMs, but this screenshot is actually weirder than you think. The entire story is very dark and gets even okay. darker because some people think Mr. Beast was lying and these messages were fake. After okay, what do you gain from that? Mr. Beast gains millions and millions of views. For him to fake something as dumb as like, oh my god, I could have died. That is, it's so dumb. After somebody asked Jimmy why the message is blue, Mr. Beast said that one of his friends sent him a screenshot of when he invited Jimmy. But people in the replies keep saying that if it was actually his friend who invited Mr. Beast, this person would already be dead at this moment. So let me know what you think in the comments. And even though Jimmy is doing everything- I mean, his friend could just be fetching him a YouTube idea. His content saying no to this one basically saved his entire life if he is not lying. But the story number three is actually one of the most mysterious ones. What I happened? Hear. I got caught like halfway oh, and I was God. like, fuck, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Because Mr. Bleach was literally stalked. All right, dude, we get it. We, Mr. Mr. Breast, Mr. Beast, Mr. Bleach. We get it. What are you going to call him next? Mr. Beach? Come on, bro in real life by a billionaire stalker from Dubai. And this story is crazier than you think. It started when Jimmy's personal private investigator called him and said that some very rich guy from the Middle East is trying to find Mr. Beast in real life. Somewhere okay. in the Middle East, this guy hired a private investigator in North Carolina. I have no context to find me. When Jimmy asked why, the private investigator simply didn't say anything except that this stalker is flying to America literally tomorrow. Needless to say that Mr. Beast was scared to death once again. Just the Nah, I'd be happy, bruh. Y'all could call it weird, but a millionaire wants to see me? Shit, that nigga trying to give me $30 million for free. And you know them Dubai niggas, they'll buy anything. They'll buy a golden toilet for $30 million. They don't care. The next day, Jimmy doubled the security he already had and asked them to pick the guns and go to this stalker's hotel room. So my security went with the private investigator to meet him. And my security's just like, why the fuck are you here? Why are you trying to find Jimmy? And the guy's like, I just have video ideas. I really want to give them. And my security's like, fuck you. Why are you actually here? He's, he just kept saying it like 30 times in a row. He's just like, I just want to give him this sheet of ideas. And there's just a piece of paper with video ideas. Obviously, nobody, nobody believed this stalker. And then Mr. Beast's security decided to check all of this stalker's clothes and items inside of his room. After they didn't find anything, Jimmy simply lied that he's out. Never know if that was a real murder attempt or just a crazy guy. Because you don't know. Like, they might be trying to kill me. They might be yeah, whatever. Of course. Apparently, when you are the most famous YouTuber on Earth, the amount of dangerous things that could possibly hurt you increases like Max. crazy. So Jim like, y'all don't know, bro. Ruby Rose and Ice Spice literally try to stalk me, bro. Like, uh, it's actually kind of sad being like a big YouTuber. Like, it's so much people just want to come out to get you, bro. Jimmy always have to stay home and almost never go in public. But even though some people are trying to kill Mr. Beast, sometimes he actually becomes the biggest menace to himself. Because one time he accidentally almost killed himself. And I am not even joking. Stop shaking. You're annoying me. This was a horrible idea. I would really not recommend any of you guys do this. In 2018, okay. Mr. Beast was filming the video that almost became his last one. It's named Spending 24 Hours Straight Underwater. Water. And it was damn like oh, bro, is the views literally that necessary? Mr. Beast, the type of nigga to jump off of a hill for some for some views, bro. Went completely wrong from the very beginning. I'm going to attempt to sit underwater for 24 hours straight. Mr. Beast and his friends made a plastic box as the roof and pinned it to the bottom of the outside pool so Jimmy could breathe inside of it without dying. Humans need oxygen to breathe safely, and Mr. Beast got a little tube that was oh! giving him pure oxygen from the outer world okay. for the complete duration of the challenge. When the video just started, it was completely normal. Jimmy and Chris were having fun, so ate some wrong. McDonald's underwater, and even were making some jokes. The bad okay. thing started to happen eight hours after the challenge began because what happened? Jimmy's head started aching like it never did before. Okay. And after six more hours, on the 14th hour of the challenge, Jimmy had to finish it earlier. Otherwise, he would have ended up dead. His facial expression- All right, good, because what, all of that for, for, you can't, after, if you were to die, you can't even upload it. He would probably like, hell nah, bro. Shit, no, Mr. Beast is actually better than me, because you know what I would have done? I would have got up, went to sleep, you feel me? And come back later and be like, that's, that's the 24 hours. Maybe a time skip, I don't know, but 
for him to like not lie about that unlike a lot of these youtubers that will probably spend like three minutes hey kudos to him bro by the end of the challenge says it all. The reason behind that huge fail and nearly escaping death for Mr. Beast turned out to be the carbon dioxide, mm. also known as CO2. Since Jimmy was breathing- Oh, okay. Essentially, what that is, Chad, if you don't know, is if you take the, the perimeter of the carbon footprint, the trees and the monoxide and, and the earthly gravitational pull, and then the, the distant relationship to- Okay, I'm just chatting, bro. I don't know what the hell that is. A lot of y'all niggas got that carbon monoxide ass breath, dude. Brush your teeth. Being in the same air he was breathing out, after almost a day spending inside of this little plastic box, the air was completely filled with carbon dioxide that Jimmy was breathing out during the entire challenge. The water okay. was constantly moving. I was just getting really seasick under there. Just after a while, it just really got to me. And I just okay. really couldn't take it anymore. I wanted to power through, but I just couldn't. At first, Jimmy thought he was just seasick, but he was never so wrong. Later, he said that he almost accidentally killed himself during Damn. this challenge. And if he didn't get up from the underwater, Water for a couple more hours, this challenge would actually be the last challenge in his life. Jimmy Damn. better be safe with such- Wait, you know what Mr. B should have done underwater? Like, what if he, like, started, like, smashing? Yo, my bad, bro. Why am I freaky, bro? I don't want to see Mr. Beast. I don't want to- Wait, actually, why do y'all think he's called Mr. Beast? Think about it. Why, he's hiding that, you know, Mr. Beast or Mr. Meat. I don't know, though of dangerous videos but the next story might be the craziest one because the person who almost killed jimmy this time turned out to be one of his best friends carl and not Damn. only he almost killed mr you see Pete, this nigga wants to inherit the channel so bad bro east but he almost did it for the entire team including chris chandler and nolan the video where it happened is called i bought the world's largest firework and Damn. it happened during the most expensive firework in the video which cost over a hundred and sixty thousand dollars you see this is why i hate rich people bro how do you like some people can't even afford cars, houses, people are in debt, and you, 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 you have over, like, what, one-tenth of a million dollars to, to spend it on lights, nigga? The video itself is obviously very dangerous, but not only Jimmy almost died, he even got canceled after this story. The firework was extremely big. According to Jimmy, it was literally the world record that is yet to be beaten even after four years the video was published. The mm. firework had a weight of 4,000 pounds, and because of Carl, it could end up like an actual nightmare for Jimmy. Damn! Are you kidding me? Look at this one! I can fit inside that! Do you think I could fit my head in this one? <laughs> Why not? It's not even on! Carl wanted to put his head inside of one of these giant fireworks, and are you trying to do a reverse Michael Jackson? Huh? Are you trying to finally, yo, are you trying to Carl? I don't know, um, shit, Carl to Tyrone? I don't know, like, what, what you trying to get into, bro? Do not put your head in no black, you feel me, firework, though. You're, 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 you're gonna be chopped, though. And you can barely see how the instructor stops him the last <laughs> moment possible. Carl says that the firework is not even- That nigga about to turn from Carl to Carl Malone, bro. On, but in case he actually put his head inside of it, the rope would pull out, which obviously would cause the immediate death. Nigga went from Carl and to Carlton. This is the largest firework in history of Earth. The explosion would be absolutely insane. Not only it would kill Carl, but nobody from the Mr. Beast crew would have survived if that actually happened. This instructor is the real hero. After Jimmy published this video, it even almost got banned by YouTube for dangerous actions. And Damn. some Mr. Beast fans even kept saying that Jimmy shouldn't be doing videos like this anymore. Wow, it got, it got taken down? I mean, you, yo, YouTube, why y'all niggas so soft, bruh? It's just fire. Literally nobody got hurt. Not only because it's dangerous for Jimmy, but some of his fans might hurt themselves because of it while trying to do the same thing. But if you though that was it, here's the story of how Jimmy's most dangerous challenge almost killed him. In 2022, Mr. Beast made his hardest video till this day. What did he it's do? It's called, I didn't eat food for 30 days. I had a whole team of doctors watching me every single day. They kept track of all my- Wait, wait till Mr. Beast finds out there's a whole religion that- <laughs> Can't eat for 30 days, bro bottles like these to ensure I didn't have a heart attack or worse. Obviously, it's not a normal thing to fast for 30 days straight, especially if you're Mr. Beast. Because when Jimmy was just 15 years old, he got diagnosed with a very dangerous- Oh, he doesn't eat at all, even during the nighttime? Okay. Yo, what the hell? Why are they showing us STDs? Oh, never mind. Those are intestines, my bad. 
dangerous disease called Crohn's. Basically, your intestines are inflamed, and because they're inflamed, you don't process food as well. So if I ate something, it would just go right through me, like literally within a day. And because it's so inflamed, it's like someone's just dragging that like, sucks. a knife across your stomach. So it's super painful. Damn. This disease affects your stomach, and you can never live the same life you had before. Jimmy's face was completely covered in pimples, and he lost over 50 pounds. Wait, so it got to suck. Imagine him being at a buffet. Like, damn, like, there's so much good options, man. I'm trying to eat. I can't wait to get into all of these things. And, like, 20 minutes into eating a plate, yo, I got to take a shit. Like, oh, hell no, nah, no. In just a three months because of this awful disease. He had to stay home because he simply wasn't able to go to school. And even in 2024, Mr. Beast still suffers from Crohn's disease. After 11 years of it being diagnosed, this thing forced Jimmy to stick to a very strict diet for his entire life. And he even made a couple of videos about it in the past. According to medical websites, people with Crohn's disease live five to eight years shorter than people without it. So Damn. obviously it was a very dangerous thing for Jimmy to do a challenge like fasting for 30 days straight. You can see Mr. Beast looking like a damn zombie throughout the entire video. I had to fly out on day 13, so I weighed myself from home. That's 18 pounds under where I started. Damn, bruh. Hold on, yo, Rick Ross, um, Rod Wave, um, Nico Cotto. I need y'all to make a video like this, but make it one year, bro, and see how crazy it changes your life. Because if you look, uh, what, nigga? This is a new workout regimen, 18 pounds in 13 days? Y'all need this in just two weeks. After 14 days of fasting, the doctors told Jimmy that he better stop doing it or it may cause some inevitable problems with his health. Mr. Beast ended the challenge on the 15th day by eating a burger by a famous chef, Gordon Ramsay. Jimmy said many times that this was his hardest I know that, bro. I know when he finally ate that food, he probably tasted every single ingredient within it, bro. They're like, nigga, did you put some ice spice like coochie water in here like he probably knew everything that was inside that shit bro because one thing that's for certain when you're hungry you enjoyed food way much more bro challenge of all time his body was feeling the worst stomach ache that he has ever experienced and his health was absolutely the worst but the final story will change your life once and forever exactly like it changed jimmy's because when mr beast driver was driving him home he actually died in the middle of a highway which Damn. almost killed jimmy and his friends the driver had some serious heart problems and it simply stopped beating for a couple of minutes Damn. jimmy had to put his leg to a pedal and take the steering wheel basically just to move out of the highway because the car was still moving very fast eight hour drive with me and like two of my other friends and then my friend driving yeah he just he just says can we pull over to a gas station i don't feel too good and i'm like looking at the road and i turn and look to my left and his head's just bobbling and he's just like wait is he driving yeah Sleep down the highway and he's just like dead his foot no he's better than me bro i would have yelled out the most feminine scream of my life i'd be damned if i got packed to my uber driver nigga i'm gonna scream ah, like, i don't know what i would do bro I would, I probably would've jumped out the car. My first thought wouldn't have been to put the gas in the, like, uh, put my feet in the pedal, bro. But though it's still on the gas, so we're like slowly going a little faster now. We're going like 80 or 85. Hell yeah, yeah. And I'm now just it's like, what? Exactly, and I have my hand on the steering wheel. I'm in the passenger seat, and this is a big car with like a console in the middle. So I'm like <laughs> driving, and I was just like, I we can't go 100 miles an hour. We're, there's cars everywhere. There's a fucking dude riding your ass. And I'm like, my fucking driver's dead. Can you just chill for five <laughs> Can seconds? You? It was the closest thing to death Mr. Beast has ever experienced. Damn. And this story changed his life forever. Are you afraid of death, by the way? Yes. I... It's hard because what if you just die and then you just see nothing forever? No, that honestly, Chad, I feel like everyone has had this thought once, bro. Like, I will have, like, the funnest moment of my life and I'll be thinking, damn, bro, there's going to be a time where I'm going to die. Like, you feel me? I mean, yes, I believe in the afterlife, but I'm just saying, like, the simple thought of n never seeing anything, just a blank, like, black. No, not even black. You're just not there. I'm like, damn, bro. This shit's scary, bro. Forever, you know? Yeah, the nothingness. It just fades to blackness, and you're just like that for trillions upon trillions to billion squared years. And it's just, it's scary. Anyways, YouTube, that does conclude seven times Mr. Beast was almost killed. Maybe YouTubers need to upgrade their work. Because if there's someone out here willing to die over some content, then maybe some of us need to try harder. Join us on Discord, cancel on Twitch. Make sure to subscribe. All that good stuff, man. Waxer for life. Love y'all. And peace.